Hello, my first graphic family. It's Photograph, and you're all welcome back to another adventure with me. And welcome back to Stormworks, and welcome to, yeah, another one of my ships. You can tell because of the funnel, right? And by the way, it looks. This would be typically my ship because of the, um, ugly looking bow. It looks like a 60s bow, I gotta be honest. But yeah, though, uh, this ship is called the Saxonica. And this is sister to the Ivernica, and there will be a Carpathica coming soon. This is part of the Ivernica class, but has lots of cabins, lots of interior, lots of rooms, just lots of everything. And did I forget to mention it's full interior? Well, I don't add anything in the tank top anymore, except for the cargo hold, so yeah. But the rest of the tank top doesn't count, but everything else does. Um... It's almost for all here though, like, there's not a cabin for every one of them. Ah, oh, dang, I'm getting a pimple right here. Why well, am I just getting pimples in my ears now? Oh, I hate that. And I ran out of strikes pets, too. Anyways, so, uh, here's a little backstory of the Saxonia. That's what the ship is inspired by, obviously. So, the Saxonia was sister to the Ivernia and Carpathia, hence Ivernica. And Carpathica and Saxonica. Um, yeah, um, both the Saxonia and Ivernia were launched in 1899, Carpathia in 1902, and they all had a good service until Carpathia and Ivernia were torpedoed, Carpathia in 1918, and Ivernia in New Year of 1917. However, the Saxonia managed to survive the war and was scrapped in 1925. Uh, so yeah. My difference, the difference between my, the two that I built, is this deck house. The Ivernica doesn't have this, and she didn't previously have this before, in real life, while the Saxonica did have this. Does have this. And this is an extra room for first class, of course, first class. Why wouldn't it be first class? And yeah. But that is pretty much all you can see. I did decide to add a gold line. That's the first time I ever added a gold line, but yeah though. No. It's gonna be the same on the Lusitania the Lusitanica. Mortanica. And I'm currently working on the special nineteen hundred ship. No longer are we going to be in 1800s. We're going to leave the 1800s, and we're finally entering 1900s. And I always go by the year of launchings. Um, the ship I'm building, it was launched in, it was, um, launched in 1897, or maybe launched in 1897. I don't know, either way, it was in the eight, late 1800s, but, but I'm just doing 1900 because it's something special, something I want to do, give you a hint, is not White Star Liner or Canard Liner, because I normally do White Star Liner Canard Line, I don't do anything else, but yeah, though. But I do plan on doing other ones, like Union Castle Line and such, blah, blah, blah. Mm. You know. But that's for later, so I'm currently working on that. Uh, so yeah. I'll give you one more hint. Um, it's a ship from, it's a German ship, so, yeah, that's all I'm giving you, so yeah, so if you want to make a guess, comment down below, or say in the Discord if you want, um, yeah, though, uh, if you want to check out my Discord, but there will be a link in the description down below, I'll send a link to this too, even though I sent a link to it, um, last video, um, last videos, um, but yeah, though, we're checking out right now, so I might as well send the link again. Anyways, though, I've got four minutes of stalling. Should we get down to things? Yes, we should. So, let's get things started. It is a bit laggy at first, but once you leave port, it really clears out. Um, some advice. Make sure engine overheating is off, infinite electric is on, and infinite fuel, um... You can turn it off if you want. The only reason why I add the engines now is so that way it makes it so realistic that exhaust would come out of the funnel. It's so close to mass. It's so close to the rope. I made that pipe for 
I made that pipes for a reason, by the way. Um, actually, uh, all you have to do really um, is turn up the motor telegraph, because um, the generators aren't powerful enough to gain all the electricity. So it is vitally important that you have infinite electricity on and engine overheating off, unless if you want to want to start a fire. Um, However, infinite electricity must be on at all times. So yeah, watch. That's why there was no smoke coming out of funnels at first. I was like, wait, is that thing they removed from Shomlux? But no, it's infinite fuel. You have to have it off for it to come out of the funnels. Or wherever it's coming out of it on a ship or a plane or a car, etc. But yeah, though. Um, this is the first ship um, where... I actually have two decks of superstructure, and I count superstructure by decks that are spanning the hole with the ship that are also super, that are superstructure. So yeah. So, not this, not this deck house. That doesn't count. The rest do count. So yeah. So I am much more than usual. Oh my! Ooh. Right then. And though, I gotta be honest, the ship is very narrow. <laughs> Maybe it's because of how tall it is. Anyway, so, you see the lag is clearing out. It goes 17 knots. Yeah, then we got Scarlet here, and ooh, let's also turn light. There's only exterior lighting, because I made them separate. I make them separate lights for only the big ships, because otherwise, it'd be a laggy mess. If you want exterior lights on, Knock yourself out. Don't have to. Like, it's up to you. We got like what's here. Why are there like collapsibles also here? Because there were supposed to be collapsibles there as well. Um, fun fact on the Ivernica over here, without the deck house, I was able to fit Davids here. But I can't with the deck house, so I was forced to make these collapsibles. So, yeah. And I was actually forced to move this mass, so the mass is also moved. So, everything that was on the Ivernica, everything on the Saxonia that was here, chain, is different from the Ivernica. So, yeah. Anyhow, though, we'll explore the officer's quarters. Um, so, yeah, you got a little lounge here. Couldn't fit a lounge there. But, yeah, though, you can look up there, see the bridge, well, we house. You got Captain and First Officer, Second and Third Officer, Wireless Room, and ooh, what does it sound like? Do you like that? Do you like it how it is like loads of buzzers with different sounds all combined together? If you like it, comment down below, or if you don't like it, tell me what needs to be changed. You know, I thought that might be fun. And we got. A chart room. Thought somebody knocked on my door. Um, then we got a chart room right here. It's just a map. That's really it. And yeah, um, I couldn't fit a bed for the wireless operator. I did forget one, but I couldn't fit one, so I was relieved there. And we'll turn the lights off to reduce lag. Well, I guess you don't have to worry. Uh, you're watching me play, not playing yourself so it, it's just gonna be the same FPS for you logic so yeah you got Davids here and the boats here once again it's supposed to be there and then ah my throat's acting up again you can go down here and you have more deck houses this is the first class smoking room it features a dark oak color look at this and then you can just sit down and smoke or maybe under the skylight. Hold on. Right then. With that, we are going to go... Um, yeah, we're going to keep moving forward. We got the palm court. This is the palm court. Um, these doors you can open or close if you want. You got cargo hatches in the way you got chairs and yes you can go through the it's pretty 
tight fit, but you can go through them, so don't worry. What is it? Yeah. Something I forgot to mention about the ship. It does make some dangerous lists, but it doesn't capsize. Alright, so don't worry. If it does capsize, don't worry. You'll get a total refund on the ship. And here we got Lounge. And it's right under funnel, hence why the skylights are like this. But yeah, though. Uh, I got windows, and I did the, the micro control design one, once again. And I have to say, I think I improved on it. Um, once again, I'm not sure if he, the guy, this guy was, um, I'm not sure if he was the one who thought of this first, or there were other people before him. But, Greg goes to completely for the design. Um, because he is still working on the ship that has this design, but I, once again, I'm the first one to upload a ship with this design. But give him all the credit. Um, and then. You got <laughs> typical, very typical. I have to re update my ship. I have to update my ships at least once. Well, there's a couple um, I didn't have to update. Yeah, we got the stereo case, and you can see these baseboards here. I, I'm not sure if they're called baseboards, but I call them baseboards anyway, because I can. But yeah, they Oh. I try to make it look 1800s y. So, yeah, and then forward of here, we have the reading and writing room. And oh! I for. What is it with me forgetting things? Huh? Alright then. Um, got microcontrollers once again. The pipes represent books. You got tables with separators. To help you not be sure when you're writing or reading. So that's the reading and room, and that railing says exists for a reason. It's supposed to be a gate. Separate third class, first class. Um So yeah. So going down here, we got the second part of the ship. This is um A deck, B deck, C deck, D deck. Yeah, this would be B deck, I believe. B deck A B deck, yeah. Um, so this is B deck, the B deck staircase. I see I have the mind controls. Not the best way to do this. I should have done block, porthole, block, mind controller, block, porthole. That's what my brain thinks. Um, or maybe I shouldn't have added them at all. Maybe. Come. Nah, they look fine. But over here, because this is B deck and this is a much higher deck, um, you got. State rooms once again, and it's a dark brown. Um, look at this. Take a gander at this, and yeah, it's way all around. I'm forced to make it because if I do that brown, then the outside is gonna be brown, and it's gonna look horrible. And that's a problem Scoop is suffering from as well, anyway. Like, and other people who use these portholes. Um, if it's on superstructure, then. I use those portholes, but if it's not, I use tiny little portholes. Uh, but yeah, though. Whatever floats here, but we got two beds once again. And the same on the other side, there's one state room there. Because I try to make it even, and you got lighting here. <laughs> here, let me. There we go. And there will be another. There'll be two more staterooms, and it's pretty much the same thing, so. I don't need to go through that again, but what's this? Oh, look at this. This is supposed to be the first class gallery right here. This is where first class passengers can hang out to. It's a little gallery for a couple of rooms that we're bound to go into. First of all, we got purse's office right here. You got a little sitting room for the purser. Why is it there? Uh, because there is space here and nice sides for shit. And then you got the office itself. And here you got the person's cabin. Look at this. And any um empty floors that don't really have furniture around it, I decided I carpet to make it look better. So yeah, like that. And that, you know. And then over here is a new room. The first ship to first Atlantic ship to actually have this room. The first class ladies room. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it has green all around it, just 
pretty cool design. Thought it looked awesome. And yeah, this is the ladies' room. This is for ladies, however, no men allowed. And then over here, that's for the plus gallery. We got um these structures. These were supposed to be on the ships. So they're there. Man, you seriously third class. Third class got the whole poop deck and four castles to themselves. While first class gets to have the rest. And then back here you got the rope storeroom, of course, of captains of arrows. And I don't add lighting here, cause eh. a storeroom is a storeroom. Don't really need lighting. It'll be probably for I probably add lighting on the accommodation or relaxing rooms like lounges, smoking rooms, free and right rooms, you know. Good stuff. It's 16 minutes in, you haven't even gone to lower decks. Get on with it. Far though. No. Alright then. There you, there you got all that. Uh, because obviously you got rope anchors right here. So that way they actually have use. Uh, and I've decided to bring back the winches. Long ago, I the Teutonica was the only ship that didn't that had these winches. Rest did it. And now I decided to bring them back on I believe the yeah, the Altonica. It was shot with the Altonica. And that's moving really on over that's that's more to detail. And yeah though we're gonna go one more deck down for first class. And this is C deck. This is the first down first class can go. And yeah. So over here we got just regular cabins, that's it. No um state rooms, just the cabin. Uh so yeah. Typical. Same on the other side. And then there's no cabins here. Well, there are cabins, but there's no cabins to be able to come into. In here, because, eh. And there's no doors here for a reason. Because that's where the funnel shaft is supposed to go. See, I play it realistic. Not, except for the lounge, that's, like, just has one small little pipe, but whatever. I don't like funnel shafts that uh, way. Because w without them, I can have more interior. But this is... The last stop for first class, the dining saloon, of course. You can't have first class without grand dining saloon. Look at this. I tried, I tried basing it off the Carpathia dining saloon. Um, doesn't really look like it, but it is heaven. Um, now that you got tables and everywhere, such. Um, so yeah, I can only fit two chairs there. I can't fit. Four, or even three. Right, so, look at this. I can have a skylight there. But you got lights there, and I think that was cool. And once again, couldn't put a skylight um, up there in actual skylight. And then we got the galley. Look at this. Got ovens, stoves, refrigerators. Uh, and then over here. Oh, what's this? This isn't. This isn't really first class. That's because it's third class. So yeah, this is third class. None of these cabins are available, but at least on this deck. Yeah, the only have two cabins available on this deck are the first class cabins on the front. So yeah. How we're going down here, we got this hallway, and three of these cabins are available. I said on that deck, not all around the ship. And let's check this at first. This is crew only. And you see, I definitely didn't lie when I said I made this nearly full interior. I really love to add interior. And I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I think I do a very good job. Uh, we got the dining saloon here, third class dining saloon. This ship can carry a load of passengers. And here, yep. Uh, speaking of this, oh, I apologize for the, for those, by the way. Just ignore them, pretend they're not there, pretend the wedges are not there. Yeah, though, speaking of the design of this, uh, th I'll give you another. Here's a little spoiler alert, the third class on the ship. All the third class on the new ship is gonna be a cheaper one, so no baseboards, because basically, 
I'm just simply too lazy. <laughs> we had them. Basically, this ship is like the Ivernica, just the only difference is a deck house up there. I'm here in my room, and then. Yeah. There's uh, four beds, and then, yeah. Um, I'll show you the other one, since it's kind of different. And yeah, here's the other one. Doesn't have tables, but has these drawers down here. See, I was smart there. But yeah, though, and then over here, this is supposed to be the third class general room. And this is where the third class can just talk. But that's not all, there's more. Up here is third class open space. You normally find open spaces at like near the next to the cargo holds. And oh great, I spilled my drink. Um, how did I even spill my drink there? Makes no sense. I left it upright. That's why physics can be um uh uh. That's why physics can be a blah, blah, blah sometimes. Um, whatever blah means. Um. Okay. Yeah, then we got a car home down here, and then. That's crew business, and then, yeah, the open space. So, yeah, their class gets a smidge bit more than usual. <laughs> I also forgot to have patterns, too. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, so over here and this is almost the end of the tour so feel free to start breathing here or whatever that even means yeah we got crew only basically nothing here but you got something here this is the mail hold you got shows over here look at this this is for all the mail and yeah and then the last final thing is the cargo hold and here's the cargo hold can fit lots of cargo, maybe even a car. Mm. But anyway, though, either way, that is the end of the Saxonica, and it's the same exact thing as the Ivernica, only without the reading and writing room. Mm. Uh, yeah. The, also, you got um, they they got the forecastle as well. But here it is. So yeah. Um, so that is the Saxonica, everybody. Right then, um, don't really know what to do with the ship, we're not really going anywhere. I guess we can just go on a cruise. Hmm. Works for me. Yeah, though. Did you hear that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you hear that? I heard like a poof. I'm not sure if you- Oh no. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but either way, there's water. What? I did not push the skull, I swear. I am not lying. I am not lying this time. I'm actually not lying, guys, alright? Please believe me. I did not push the skull. I know I was on the helm, but I didn't. I didn't, okay? I know, um, the cargo hold's flooding. Was that like some hull failure damage or something? Like, does the ship really have to sink one way or another? Well, wait, wait, I'm going to go ahead and launch one of the lifeboats. Um, first of all, stop the ship because I don't want it's not going anywhere. If it actually it is going somewhere. Alright then. Show me the way. Oh no, it's sinking too fast. Never mind. Nope, nope. Nope. Stop the ship. Stop the ship. Okay. Let's go ahead and set up um, at least one boat. We only need one. For some reason, I'm always the, <coughs> the only one um, gets goes on these ships. Maybe because they're just scared. Others are scared that I'm going to sink it. Even though it's not my fault. Now, ooh, I have not tested this. Maybe you might need to push it a little first. Um, yeah, though. 
we'll get this boat launched first, and we'll see whether you can push it or not. But I don't really know. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, it doesn't go all, oh, it doesn't go back, though. Um, those portals are underwater already. Everything is flooding. We're all doomed. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, you might have to push it if Shawmarks will decide to not be a... Whatever still means. Alright, yeah, you gotta... Yep, you gotta push it. Yeah, you gotta kinda maybe... Lower it a bit, I guess? Uh, so... There we go. And then we'll just... Raise it, and then boom! You got a boat right there. However, we're not gonna lower this one because it's gonna squash that boat right there. And we do not want that now, do we? Those boats, though, you can't lower them. You can't, like, push them all the way there. That's just physically impossible. Um... I have a feeling the ship sinks too fast, though, because water is on our bow already. Um... Is now a good time to panic? Oh no. Um. Oh boy. There's, like, everything's, but third class is done. Um. Yeah, though. It's possible to get these collapsibles up there, but, um. That's not the point right now. Um, possible evacuation, possible abandoned ship. How's it going down there? Oh, the car was flying. Okay, yeah, abandoned ship. Just help her out a bit. I'm just gonna help her out, just put her out of her misery. <laughs> just get this out of the way. And boom! The cargo bursts open by some unruly captain. And with that... The Saxonica is going down. And it's actually doing a slow process. I like that. I actually like that. That looks pretty cool. Um. Though there still goes the ship. It's still. Oh. So it just. Okay, it seems fast at first and then it starts to slow down. First class is floating. Um, and the, uh, oh, the wheelhouse is going down, and everything is going down. The palm court, the lounge, uh, they're not full yet, but, oh, no. Oh, yeah, she's taking her final plunge, all right. Um, well, this is a thing. I don't know how. I don't understand. How do I manage to sink my sh to have my ship sink? That was I swear that wasn't me. I know I was on the helm. And that you can press the skull and no one will really know, because there's not really a sign showing that you push the skull. Well, the kind of, but you know what I mean. But for the last time, that was not me. Oh, it just ground out. Wow, it actually rounded out. Okay. That's a thing. I see it's not full, full interior, but it's pretty full. I think my sterns are okay, you know. And, and stop. That's the thing about ships grounding out. When they stop, they stop. And they never, ever go any further down. Especially if that they're literally at a vertical angle. 
well boats what is it going to be is it going to be sink or is it going to be just just stay there if you can't make your mind up I'll make your mind up for you you're going to you're going to Brazil <laughs> that was stupid oh okay come on just sink already it pees me to see a ship not completely sinking when they can if it can't like if it's actually impossible like if it, the water's too um shallow then that's fine but if they can we think just they don't but they just don't it really pees my ocd so much so yeah so i just want this to happen maybe this deck house will do it yep there we go oh that did it can't believe i actually had to get waves just for that to happen seriously um but with that the saxonica was gone I don't know how it is that I managed to round out my ships that easily. And shit, well. Well, it's still flooding. Also, I did catch myself there. I didn't say yes word. I, I was about to say. I was about. I was literally saying, I said ship. Not, you know what. Anyways, though, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, hope you enjoy my clumsiness of sinking every single ship known to man. But yeah, though, if you like the ship, please, uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And please make sure to leave a link and subscribe. Helps out my channel. And, uh, yeah, and on my left and right, there will be two videos. Um, you can choose either one that will entertain you with my, uh, craziness, my madness. Um, I was sinking ships somehow, because that's all I do, is just sink central. But either way, they are fun and exciting, so I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, click on any video. Well, and I'm um, sorry if you're seeing the, uh, you may do, uh, it's Pine Storm, it's Bill Rescue. Um, I'll try to fix that, but anyways, though. Oh, that's not the point. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.